Well, good evening, folks, and welcome to uh, another episode of Hockey Night in Canada at the 2015 Ice, Ho Ice Hockey World Championships here held in Cape Town, South Africa. Uh, Division 2, Group B. Um, tonight's game is between your hometown, uh, well, home country, South Africa, against uh, big rivalries here in New Zealand. My name's Jason Schneider, and with my partner, Michael Edwards. Good evening, everybody. Yeah, this will be a good clash of the of the Southern Hemisphere. Um, always, always good a rivalry. Uh, two hard countries in rugby, cricket, and now ice hockey. So yeah, we get, we're up for some exciting stuff. It should be a great game uh, tonight. The officials for this game uh, from Spain: referee Alexei Russian, um, from Lithuania: linesman Benis uh, Yaxis. And from uh, from Switzerland, Mark Henry Prosian. So yeah, it definitely should be a great game. Uh, a lot of energy. Uh, the stadium is packing up quickly, um, and I like to see that because I'd like to see uh, definitely see a packed house for this game. On um, Friday night, uh, a lot of families out here bringing the kids out for the first games. Uh, should be an amazing game and hopefully uh, excuse me hopefully our boys can uh, can keep it going and uh, see how they play tonight um, to be honest they haven't been playing that great this tournament um, but as uh, as everybody knows anybody can win a hockey game at any time well, this is the thing, Jace, and um, I think this is, uh, this is the game that they have to do it. Um, I don't think they've got a choice. They have to step up to the plate now and uh, put some goals away. Yeah, and just lots of shots on the net and uh, get into those rebounds. Um, and uh, we'll just see, uh, see how everything goes. We're, it looks like we're just about to get started. Uh, don't forget about the tweets, fans. Uh, Tweet us at uh, at 2015 double I H F M W double I B, and here we go for the first uh, face off at the beginning of the period. Who is it going to go to? Um, look, I think I'd give that one to South Africa as they gain possession and dump it quickly into South Africa's zone. And I see that they uh, South Africa's got Bach back in uh, back in net this game. And in net for, uh, for New Zealand is the only goalie with an assist this tournament. And that's uh, Richard Perry. As New Zealand throws the first shot on net and it's gloved by, uh, by Bach there. I think uh, he's just going to have a good game tonight. I think he's going to step up to the plate. Um, he hasn't been the normal Bach that we know. So I think uh, he's got something to prove. Yeah, no, I agree 100% with you there. Yeah, South Africa has the puck behind the net. Is looking to get something started here. Uh, Mark Gio with the puck. Gives it off the boards to Beryl. Just couldn't control it. Yeah, just out of the reach. And hey, nice interception there by, uh, by Gio. I think it's definitely going to be a hard-hitting... Uh, Hard hitting fast game is what I'm what I'm predicting as South Africa gets the first line change of the game. Yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna see a bit of body. Um, we're gonna wait for the first couple of shots and then uh, you're gonna see the other team start reacting with a couple of shots back. Yeah, oh, I agree with you. And uh, th uh, New Zealand throws one on net and it's just pushed aside by Bach. And here we go, South Africa tries to make a pass and it just falls off his stick, and it's uh, shot down into deep New Zealand territory. I think uh, one key point to this game is uh, South Africa is going to have to stay out of the box. Yeah, definitely. Um, they haven't had uh, much luck on penalty kills. Um, so don't really want to take any unnecessary penalties here. As New Zealand circles with the puck off the skate and picked up by South Africa and right in there. And South Africa's got a little bit of a break. Takes a shot. Nice defensive play by uh, New Zealand just to get a stick on it. And New Zealand's got a break going the other way, and no one there to receive their pass. Is here who goes back with South Africa. They just dump it into the far corner to go pick it up.
And South Africa's definitely come out hitting this period as uh, they're hitting everybody and anything with the, with the puck. Andre Marin. Oh, just couldn't get past him. Here goes New Zealand with the shot right into the chest of Bach. Nice save. Routine save for the goalie. And uh, we're going to have a face off probably to the right of uh, the South African goaltender. And nice couple quick shots by New Zealand and uh, Bach able to keep it out of the net. As New Zealand takes over at their blue line. Goes for a pass up, intercepted by South Africa and then re-intercepted by New Zealand who just passes it to the open side. And New South Africa goes to pass it up, goes off the official and just into New Zealand territory. I think they're just trying to taste each other out. I think that's Feed a, each other. That's what I think exactly what it is. A little bit of a scrum there in the corner. No uh, referees seems to be letting them play hockey so far. Um, nothing really to call there. Oh. oh. And we're going to have a penalty here. And first penalty of the game is going to be against New Zealand. It looks like it's going to be to number seven, New Zealand. And my guess is charging on the call. Ah, it looks uh, like charge. Uh, he took a few extra steps there as uh, Mohamed uh, kind of almost turned the puck over right in front of their net. And uh, number seven for New Zealand. Uh, as soon as I find the number here, Maxwell Masharg. And again, I apologize for mispronunciation on any of the names. Um, just took a couple extra steps there. Um, he's going to sit in the box for two minutes for charging. Yeah, he was lining him up for a while. So now uh, South Africa on the power play. Not the best power play so far in this tournament. Haven't had much luck. Let's see if they can change that around. And they get a shot on net. And uh, still kept in at the blue line by South Africa goaltender or er, defense. It's Cameron Barrel to Samai. Back to Barrel. And nice block by New Zealand defense. Oh. And with a nice hit to follow that block up. There we Beryl go. Barrel to Andre Marev. Oh. Oh, nice try on the slap pass. It was a good read from the New Zealand. It was. And just gets out to the red line. South Africa picks it up and takes it back to their end. Uh, gets a quick pass out. We're at the 15 mark of the first period. No goal. And South Africa still on the power play for another 50 seconds. As New Zealand gets it just over into the neutral zone. And South Africa enters the zone behind the net. Oh, well, New Zealand's definitely good with the sticks on uh, picking up those passes. Absolutely. And they, New South Africa just can't keep it in the zone. They're gonna get a change. And it looks like both teams are gonna change some players up here. Looks like Dean Mohamed's going to carry the puck in. Some nice little hand movements there. Oh, yeah. Oh. Takes a shot and just wide. Able to keep. And uh, South Africa defense able to keep it in. And we're back to even strength. Uh, the 0 for 1 on the power play for South Africa. And here goes New Zealand. Deep into the South Africa zone. Goes around the net.
And there, South Africa is able to come out with the puck. Oh, high shot, big rebound, and oh, can't do anything with the rebound. Shot from the point, just hits the skates of the New Zealand uh, defender. And New Zealand turns around looking for an opening. Sure. Just Press gives it goal. to the open wing. And it's going to be an offside call on New Zealand as that little extra move at the blue line just never works. So a good start for both teams. Yeah, I agree. I got a tweet here uh, from a Dylan Bear uh, just asking what happened to the Haka. It wasn't streamed. Um, I'm not sure what he means by Haka. Okay, I'll explain. So New Zealand's got a, a tradition um, in rugby and everything like that where they do the Haka. So it's a little dance where you actually, they, 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 they do this dance in front of opponents and they actually challenge their opponents. Oh, um, okay. You must actually see it sometime when the, when the rugby players do it. But anyway, the ice hockey players used to do it on the ice. Oh, that would be... Uh, unfortunately, they don't do it uh, anymore. Usually what they... If, when you saw is they both line up on the blue lines and they show respect by putting their sticks up towards each other. Yeah. Um, it's an IHF, uh, IHF uh, ruling now where you just have to go greet and, you know, send it off. I think uh, it came from there. If they had the choice, they would do it. Okay. Um, oh. they, they did it in Ireland as well. Um, it's very, very nice to see. And then obviously the, pony, the, the opponents um, accept the challenge, you know, stand there, look them in the eyes, accept the challenge. Oh, nice. Yeah. I definitely, I, I think I might have to Google that yeah, just so I can uh, watch it. I'm going to, I'm, I'm not good at the voice, uh, these guys, but it kind of goes a little something like this. Tomate, tomate, whoa. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, it definitely sounds interesting. As New Zealand dumps the puck into South Africa as own, this arena is filling up very quickly, and I'm loving, I'm loving to see this. It looks like it might be another packed, uh, packed game. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, and just so everyone knows, we're at the 12-minute mark. No score in the first period. Um, and South Africa picks the puck up deep in their zone. Passes to the open wing, and... Uh, no icing on the players. The puck just hopped over uh, South Africa's stick. And nice defensive play there um, to break up that. Two, it would have been a two-on-one yeah. for New Zealand. Gonzalez. And we're going to have an offside here as they just weren't able to keep the puck in the zone. Uh, I noticed one thing so far about New Zealand is uh, they're always trying to have a couple floaters up. Kind of yeah. hiding behind the defense there. Yeah, um, they're, they're looking for the break. Um, just looking to pinch a bit. Yeah. Well, uh, we got Francois here. He uh, was in during the last game, and we actually had a favorite tweet. A few of them because uh, he's actually at home sick, or was at home sick, and he was watching uh, the live stream on a 50-inch flat screen TV. Um, he showed the picture, and I got one back here from him. And says, hey, guys, I'm back on the big screen. Now I have the wife, Crystal, and the dog's watching too. <laughs> um, hello, Crystal and Francois. Glad to have you guys with us. And I hope you guys enjoy the game and hope you enjoy the commentary. Uh, that'd be an icing on South Africa as they were able to uh, get, uh, just get rid of the threat there by New Zealand as they're starting to swarm. Yeah. Um, I actually got Joshua here who actually went, uh, commented on the Haka and said, the under 18 were allowed to perform the Haka. Is it only the senior men's team that aren't allowed to? And, uh, yeah, I believe under the WIHF rules, um, they're not allowed to perform that anymore, as Michael, uh, as Mike said earlier. Quick shot by New Zealand and beautiful save by Bach. Good save. Defensemen are strong around the net. They're keeping them out. Very yeah. good job. I noticed something different is he's actually charging the players now. Um, he's not sitting back where last night he was kind of sitting back in his crease a little bit waiting for the shot. And here he's actually challenging them more and taking away more of that net. Yeah. <laughs> 
So, Joshua, I hope that answered your question, and uh, I hope you enjoy the broadcast with us. Oh, it looks like a, a stick bus there. Uh, no, that looks like something else. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what exactly that is. Like equipment or something? Looks like a piece of equipment. Oh, big hit along the boards. Yeah, South Africa enters the zone, trying to set something up. And gets pushed into the corner by the New Zealand defenders. Oh, nice try for the pass out front. Just goes off a skate. Now we got a mouth guard on the ice, so we got... Some piece of equipment and then a mouth guard. Shot from the point off the skates and uh, across the ice. And big takedown by, uh, by Mark Gio. Ten minutes into the first and uh, still no score in the game. But it's definitely a physical game and you can see the rivalry here. Um, no doubt about it because this is probably the most physical game I've seen in the tournament as New Zealand uh, dumps the puck into the zone. Pass out front, good save. Just able to get his, uh, get his pad on that, and that was a brilliant save because he had that whole side. And South Africa in a little bit of trouble, able to clear it down to New Zealand blue line. And yeah. New Zealand right back at it. A little bit of... Uh, and nice, another save, another nice save by Bach who... Uh, just freezes it up here to get an icing, uh, take a little bit, a little bit of a break. A little bit of uh, pressure from uh, New Zealand. Um, I would say they, they in their zone a little bit more. Yeah, I, both teams have had their chances, but I would, I'd put mine on uh, New Zealand uh, right now. They just seem to uh, have a little bit more jump. But it looks like South Africa is more interested in hitting. Uh, they're trying to get the plays going. There's no doubt about that. Um. But New Zealand definitely had a little bit more of the pressure so far in the first period. Ah, South Africa gets a change and pass just out of the reach, but they're going to wave that off because of the hybrid uh, icing rule. Now South Africa is able to pick the puck up and get along the point. Nice shot, almost a tip and a nice save by the New Zealand goalie. So again, thank you for everyone that's paying attention and watching us and listening to us all day and all tournament for that fact. Um, I appreciate everyone's tweets and uh, I hope everyone's enjoying their time. Um, thanks for all the fans that are coming out here to support the hockey and everything. I uh, really appreciate that. All the fans, all the sponsors, this is great. Oh, yes. I couldn't ask for a better way to spend my week than... Uh, here at the hockey rink watching good hockey and good commentating or being able to commentate um, for the first time in my life and uh, I don't know I think I might actually try and stick with this and see uh, see if I can actually go somewhere with it uh, I've been told that uh, I'm not bad at it Nah, you're not bad <laughs> I could be better but I'm not bad as New Zealand has the puck in the neutral zone passes it across to uh, Harrison. Nice shot Great for the shot. far post and a good save. Looks like New Zealand's trying to go for that far post uh, most of the time. See if they can slide it underneath that pad. But, um, that, but that pad is about, what, a meter long? Yeah, I was just going to say. Uh, looks that way. As New Zealand has the puck, nice little pass. Good move on the blue line. Oh, just couldn't make it. Uh, couldn't thread that needle anymore. And here goes New Zealand. And just a uh, shot just wide. Oh, big hit at the blue line. And New Zealand starting to throw their weight out a little bit now. And here we go with the three on one. And it's an offside call. Oh, New saved Z by the bell. A little bit of a delay on that offside, but an offside nonetheless. So, so far it's... Uh, Exactly what I expected in the first period. 7-11 uh, uh, to go in the th first. And uh, hard-hitting, fast-paced game. And it's exactly what I thought. Uh, South Africa wins that face-off. Goes to pass it up and just goes off the linesman skate. And South Africa has to turn back into their blue line. 
High shot, which is going to probably be an icing, and that will be an icing on South Africa. So we've got the two Hay brothers from New Zealand. Um, I'm pretty sure number 21 played overseas in America for a while as well. I think he played midgets or junior. Yeah. Jay Hay. Uh, I got a couple, uh, couple more tweets here. One from Francois saying, much more physical from South Africa. Now we need to put the puck in the net. Um, no, I agree with you, and actually we both agree with you. Uh, it's definitely a lot more physical game than I've ever seen uh, at this tournament. Um, both teams just going big on the hits. And uh, let's see what happens uh, in the remainder of this game. And then I got one from a, oh, nice spinorama pass for New Zealand. Almost worked for in front of the net. And South Africa able to p pass it over to the clear side. And then I got another tweet here from Dylan Bear says, it's oh. really great to be able to interact with you guys. It adds to the experience. Well, I'm glad you enjoy it. Um, that's what we're here for. And if uh, I'm glad, uh, I want to thank everyone for sending in their comments and their tweets. Um, it definitely, it makes, uh, it adds to my experience as well, being able to actually connect uh, people all around the world and uh, keep them coming. Uh, unfortunately, we're off tomorrow and the uh, last day of the tournament will be Sunday. Um, so we will be here from 1 o'clock, 4.15 and 8 o'clock games on Sunday. And then we would have the medal presentation. Um, back to the game. South Africa wins the faceoff, takes a shot, and nice glove save by the goalie. I think uh, leave that uh, tweet address again there for everybody, Jay. Uh, that tweeting address that you guys can get a hold of us, it's uh, at uh, 2015 double IHF MW double IB. That's 2015IIHF MWIIB. And you can get a hold of us uh, anytime during the games. And uh, I'll be happy to repeat what you guys say. Um, as I said, it makes it interesting for us as well. As New Zealand's able, or South Africa's able to pick up the puck and uh, just avoid a huge hit uh, right on his blue line. As they run the goalie and the net's knocked off, I think New Zealand's going to get a penalty oh. for hitting the goalie. Yep. You are not allowed to hit the goalie, folks. No matter how r hard you're rushing the net, you have to make an attempt to not hit the goalie. And New Zealand, number 16, Paris Hayde, um, did the exact opposite. So that's going to be two minutes for interference. Um, he made no attempt to uh, get not hit the goalie, and he just ran him over, trying to uh, rattle him. I think um, is my guess on why you would do that. So this will be the second power play of the period for South Africa. Uh, 5:41 left, no score. And New Zealand able to get possession of the puck off of the faceoff, and goes to the arid corner. And big hit center ice. Both players down. New Zealand picks the puck up, shoots it at the net, and good save by Mode or by Bach. Sorry. And then a giveaway at the blue line, and another shot on Bach, and another nice save. I think he's uh, stepping up. I think he's playing uh, playing really good. I think last night when he got pulled, uh, oh. kind of put oh. a fire, lit a fire under him. Uh, and he knows what he has to do here, so. Look, Jay, I actually had a word with him before the game. He said uh, he felt a little bit under pressure, um, knowing that the, the, the other goalie was the rookie, and that, you know, the, the, the other goalie, be, um, you know, obviously quit before or a week before yeah. the tournament. Yeah, yeah. So he felt a little under pressure, thinking he's the only one. But uh, now that he knows that um, uh, the other goalie stepped up to the plate. That Marcelo Stratum can pull oh. his own. He can relax a little bit. That's what he's doing. Yeah. Relaxing a little bit and then playing a the game. Here goes New Zealand on a break. Nice okay. save by Bach. He saw it all the way. He challenged him, took away that angle, and, uh, and New Zealand player had nothing. Um, believe it or not, though, South Africa, South Africa is on the power play. Um, they haven't really been able to do much so far tonight on the power play. 
Because they're trying long passes like that. Th someone must skate it up, put it in the zone, and set up. Yeah, and they're trying to set up now. Um, New Zealand's playing a nice physical po penalty kill where it's quite hard. And they put a shot on net. Oh. And nice save by the goalie. Just able to get his pads on it. And that's just it. The uh, stretch pass works great, but unless you're guaranteed, um, you have a higher risk of turning it over that's and right. them going in on an odd man rush than you do just doing your natural breakout, um, taking time in the zone, setting it up, and just putting the puck on net and getting a rebound. Yeah, that's it. And we're going to have another face-off as South Africa had a face-off encroachment, which means... Uh, that another player. Another player is going to take the face off. Got a couple more tweets here from, ja uh, hopefully I pronounce your name right, uh, Jocko Oliver, who says, come on, SA, goalie, much more solid tonight, hard game. And there's no doubt about that. I agree with you 100%. And got another one from, from Martin Sedevi, says, as a Czech guy living in Portugal, watching stream of low-level hockey, most funny hangover evening oh glad we can entertain you some way or the other and then one from charlene that says what time are the awards are they after the last game on sunday um i believe they are um because i think we i not 100 percent sure but i think they're gonna do the i think they might do the closing ceremony after the second game and then do the award ceremony after the South Africa game um, and get all the teams and players out here to give out the gold, br silver, and bronze. Yeah. But I'm not too sure. Um, I can find out for you on Sunday and, uh, and let you guys know exactly what's going to happen, but I'll have to wait until Sunday. Yeah, I think for that tweet for Martin, um, you know, these guys are, these guys are playing hockey. Um, it's a good old hockey game. Um, it's also like, uh, you know, Czech trying to play rugby, I suppose. That's a good way. <laughs> that, that, that's definitely a good way of putting it. Um, I, we really wouldn't call this low-level hockey to begin with. Um, it's actually quite entertaining hockey. Um, Uh, I'm from Canada, and I've seen all types of hockey. I've refed all types of hockey, and I got. I think this is just as good as any type, any game that I've seen before. And this ref's definitely letting them play hockey, and I'm I'm glad because these two teams definitely have something to prove. Yeah, they're both hard hitting teams, and he's letting them prove that right now. As New Zealand's able to have the puck down to the point, shoots it. And a nice little defensive move there by Watson, who just does a little toe kick. Yeah, he's going to kick it into the corner there. Mm. As New Zealand's trying to fight for the puck along the boards, we're going to get another penalty for New Zealand. And he's not happy about it, but it's going to be a tripping call. Yeah. And it's going to be on number eight for New Zealand. That's Connor Harrison. It's going to be two minutes for a tripping. We got two minutes and 13 seconds left in the first period. Uh, this will be the third power play for South Africa. No score in the game yet, so obviously they're 0 for 2 on the power play. And let's see if they can do something else here. They got pretty much the whole third period on the power play. Yeah, what, what was the, the famous saying? Sit two minutes and feel shame. Well, I don't think I've ever actually heard that one before, but uh, I, I guess I can say I have now. <laughs> you didn't watch... Uh uh, what's that uh, famous movie with the, the Hanson brothers? Oh, Slapshot. Yeah, it was Slapshot, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, nice save by the goalie. Yeah, I remember different sayings and different uh, lines from Slapshot that I'm not allowed to say on air because this is a PG-13 show. <laughs> but if anyone that's seen the movie Slapshot, um, I guarantee you know the you know the lines that I'm talking about. Um, so I'm not going to try and say them. No, no. Not on, <laughs> not on live TV, Jay. No, I could get in a lot of trouble. I can get my license removed, and nobody wants that. <laughs> yeah, their career's gone, then. And uh, got another one here from Ashley Forey saying, love being able to watch all the way from the USA. 
Uh, shout out to number 15 of the SA team. Good job on the commentary. Thanks a lot, Ashley. Uh, we really appreciate it. And we do give out a shout out to number 15 for the SA team. Um, for you, uh, Jason. Uh, Gonzalves. Jason Gonzalves. Ashley Forey uh, gives you a shout out oh. says hi. And very close goal, uh, very close play there uh, for South Africa. Just tipped wide. Nice shot by Reeves. Just not able to get the tip. Looking for the puck to uh, freeze. Can't do it. Back to Reeves. One-timer slap shot. Deflects off into the corner. As New Zealand's trying to freeze the puck against the boards. South Africa's able to pick it up. And Reeves tries to make a pass. Nobody quite there. So they bank it back. Just under a minute to go in the first period. And nice pass to the D. Back to Reeves. Off the skates. Oh, just not able to pull the trigger. And big hit against the boards. And we're going to get a penalty here on, uh, on South Africa for that hit by Reeves. Uh, it is going to be Chris Reeves. Not the time that you want to take a penalty. 30 no. seconds left in the first. 18 seconds left in the New Zealand penalty. And uh, we're going to get uh, number 21 for South Africa. Uh, Chris Reeves is going to get two minutes for charging. I hope Chris Reeves knows when I come back and I make the side, I'm getting my number 21 jersey back. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll leave that between you guys. Um, Francois says, who is your guest commentator? Ha ha. Um, king of one-liners. Ha ha. Hashtag king of one-liners. Um, Francois, every uh, South Africa game, I've been commentating with Mike Edwards. He used to actually play for uh, Team South Africa. He's actually the current point leader for Team South Africa. And uh, and he's been commentating with me every game uh, South Africa has played. And, uh, and that would be the end of the first period. Um, great first period. No score. We'll get some stats for you. Well, welcome back, folks. Uh, <laughs> welcome back to the second period of South Africa versus New Zealand. Uh, I've got some stats here for you. Shots from the first period, believe it or not, 13 apiece. Wow. Um, Face-offs, 15 for South Africa, 7 for New Zealand. So that just shows how evenly matched these two teams are in the first period. Well, um, yeah, that's why it's 0-0, zero, zero, 13 shots apiece. And um, it's actually very good that South Africa is coming up and, and winning some face-offs. Jason, the whole week, um, they haven't been shining up for their, their face-offs. Do you no. agree? No, it's... Uh, no, they definitely, uh, they're definitely doing good. I got actually a couple... I got a tweet here. Um... From uh, Lawandra. Um, it's 11 minutes ago, so it was during the intermission. You said, trying to watch the live stream on my phone because of load shedding. Thanks, SCOM. Um, and it keeps freezing. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, hopefully, you'll try and continue watching on your phone. Hopefully, it won't freeze too much, and you'll get to see the good stuff. Um, then I got another one here from Jake Oliver saying, uh, the last two minutes of the first period were great. Uh, we need to make the power plays count, though. Go Team USA. Um, that's just it. Um, I think the whole tournament, we've uh, had trouble with the power play. And Absolutely. Ha haven't really been able to capitalize on it. Um, and somehow they they got to find a way to put the puck in the net on the power play. Uh, they're 0 for 3 so far tonight. Yeah. Well, um, that's, that's just the thing. I mean, they, they set up well, South Africa. Um, they get into the zone. They pass it around a bit beautifully, but they're just not... Grinding the net. Have yeah. to grind the net. And uh, so just so you guys know, for the ones just tuning in, uh, we're starting the second period here. New Zealand is on the power play. A uh, minute third, just under around, or a minute 20 left in the power play for New Zealand. Um, in the first period, South Africa was 0 for 3 and New Zealand 0 for 1. And as South Africa was able to clear the puck down the length of the ice, New Zealand's able to pick it up, and here they come. 
crossing over uh, South Africa zone and trying to set it up here. Big shot from the point, low and nice save by, uh, nice stop by the defenseman. Now they cleared the puck. As New Zealand goes to move the puck up and try and gain the zone. Good pressure by South Africa and oh, pass right over and nice save by the goalie. Good save, Ashley Bok. Able just to close those legs so the puck can't just seep through. Uh, got one from Dylan Bear who says, a nice haka as a U and has a YouTube link. So maybe in the second intermission, I'll actually click on that and I'll actually get to watch an on ice haka. There we go. Good job, Dylan. Uh, I won't do it now because then I won't really be able to do my job. So I'll do it later in the, I'll do it in the next intermission. And uh, let you guys know what I think as a Canadian seeing a haka for the first time. Yeah. As New Zealand passes the puck around, shot on the oh. net, and beautiful save again by Bach. Um, another thing I noticed about South Africa right now is they're clearing out the guys in front of the net and giving Bach a clear view on the of the shot. And they haven't been doing that in their previous games, and that's why their penalty kill has been suffering so much. That's exactly what he said to me before the game as well. He said he couldn't see a thing on those goals. There was just about two or three guys in front, even his own defenseman in front of him. Um, he was just screened. Yeah. Oh, that's what. It, that's that's just it. If the goalie can't see the puck, he can't stop it. Yeah. It's it's that's really the bottom line. As New Zealand's trying to set something up here, and we're back to even strength. As Reeves skates hard across the ice, and uh, Mark Gio just jumps right back on. And a nice save again by Bach for him. A shot from the point. Able to pick it up at the last second and get his body in front of it. Yeah, he's, he's coming to the party. Oh, yeah. They're, uh, you can see South Africa is definitely here to play tonight. They're, uh, they're uh, definitely not sitting down. Uh, unfortunately, I, they had to start the period shorthanded. Um, and when they do that, it just makes it hard to get a good start of the period. Yeah. Um, so let's see now that they're all even strength, see if they can do something else here. If New Zealand's able to pick the puck up, goes to shoot, off the puck and uh, into the corner. Oh, nice move by, New or by South Africa there to avoid the hit and get the puck up. Cameron Barrel with the puck. Is he going to do the wraparound? No. Oh, nice pass back to the D who just wraps it around the net. Just not able to keep it in. And Burrell just throws it towards the net and goes just wide as South Africa goes for a line change. And I noticed they got Morass back on the point yeah. um, tonight, which I think he's good. I think... Uh, that's where he. Uh, that's where he should be. He's a good, uh, good, solid defenseman. As, yeah, he is. As Hay picks the puck up behind the net, takes it, looks to center, and nobody there. Come on, stick Lawrence again. picks up the puck, tries to put it in front, and intercepted by. Uh, Let us pick up his stick. Yeah, he's got it. Oh, good oh save. nice block. That hurt him, but. Uh, for for that, his country. Yeah. As he's slowly trying to get up to get to his bench. Mahmed picks it up and takes it into the zone. He just can't handle the pass. I think he was tired. He wanted, yeah. wanted to change. No, I agree with you 100%. Got a few more here uh, from Charlene watching from Vancouver Island, Canada. Really appreciate being able to watch the games. Great commentary. Thanks, Charlene, and uh, love to see fans uh, fans from well, home, as uh, as I would call it. And nice oh, save. Good save. He cut that angle down the whole way, and he had nothing to shoot at. Um, as I was saying, I um, I love seeing fans from home. Um, Say hi to all my Canadian family and friends that are listening. Oh, uh, ho hope Canada. You, hope, yeah, hope you guys are enjoying everything uh, 
And they're going to join the hockey. Got another one from Lewandra to see the hockey from a player's point of view. And then he has a YouTube video. So I got a couple of them to watch now. So I'm definitely going to see the hockey at the end of this period. Excellent. Uh, but I guess we'll focus more on the game right now as uh, South Africa picks it up in the neutral zone and goes to dump it into the New Zealand end. New Zealand picks it up and passes behind the net. It was a nice cross-ice pass by New Zealand right there. And uh, both teams are playing very strong and uh, in a nice, nice fast-paced game. Yeah, As New Zealand good. goes, or sorry, South Africa goes to regroup. Nice stretch pass right up the middle. And a little bit of a collision there, and nothing, uh, nothing coming out of it as New Zealand's able to get the puck set up. Nice save by Bach again. Good save. And uh, nothing happening after the whistle. So uh, oh, I see the refs in there, very aggressive. Oh, yeah. that's so, it. So we're gonna have a face-off to the left of Bach. We'll just take this time to thank our sponsors because without them, this wouldn't be possible. Um, so first of all, I'm going to thank the IIHF and the City of Cape Town and Grand West Arena for um, putting this all together because it's it's just a, simply amazing. Um, we'll go with GoPro, Be a Hero, Blauberg Meat, Stephen Johnson Cars, Hyperast, CNS, AFGRI, Work in SA and uh, McDonald's, if I haven't said that one already. No, you haven't, and uh, GoPro. So thanks for all the sponsors and everything, everyone for putting this all together. And nice little hit there by Maras. Uh, is that how you pronounce that, Maras? Murray. Murray? So the S is silent. Yeah. Okay. And sorry about that again, folks. Uh, I am just learning. Don't worry, Jace, I'm here. Oh, that's what I like. Um, got one here from Luana Freer, who says, come on, New Zealand. Good support out there. Yeah, uh, I love the support coming from all over. Um, and let me know where you guys are tweeting from, because I'd like to know. Uh, I'd like to know that they're coming from all over the world. Um, nice win by... Uh, South Africa shot in front. Oh. oh, what a save by New Zealand goalie just to get his stick on it. Unbelievable. He had the whole open net and uh, beautiful save by uh, by Richard Parry. Well, New Zealand or South Africa's definitely got a little bit of a jump on their uh, jump in their play after that. Mahmoud. Get back. And nice dump in by uh, Salapka, and they're gonna go for a line change. Quick pass up by New Zealand, tries to dump it in, just gets it to the hash marks. Oh, dump around, give it to them. And New Zealand able to pick it back up at the blue line and puts it behind South Africa net. And I noticed on the defense, South Africa also is always going with two four checkers. Yeah. Um, which is a good thing. Nice pickoff. And just misses the pass. No icing on the play. As New Zealand's able to pick the puck up. And just a giveaway to the point. Hard shot. Nice save by Pari. And welcome to the people that are just joining us. Uh, 13 minutes gone in the second period. Uh, no score between South Africa and New Zealand. If you're just joining us, you are coming into a great game. Yeah, we're nearly halfway through the second, 0-0. Zero, zero. Um, best game South Africa has played yet in this tournament. Um, I'd even say the best game that, uh, oh, big hit. Oh, and we're going to get a penalty for it. Cannot take those extra steps for that hit. No. Uh, New Zealand's going to get another penalty. It'll be the first penalty of the period. Um, you can hear the fans in the rink applauding the call. Um, it's going to be the number two new for New Zealand, Jamie Lawrence. He's going to get two minutes for charging. Yeah, he hit uh, Ian Ashworth. I mean, Ian can take big hits. He's a, he's a, he's a strong boy. But he just can't take those extra steps. 
So now let's see if uh, South Africa can do something on this uh, period. Got another one from Francis, or Francois, sorry. I will be manning the penalty box for the final on Sunday evening, but tonight i really glad our RS, RSA boy is making us proud. Oh, Fran, yeah, you are missing a great game, Francois. Um, too bad you're sick. Hopefully you get better. And uh, we'll see you here Sunday night because you know I'll be here. And I'm sure Mike will be here for the final as well. I'll see you on Sunday night, Francois. Well, I'm sure Mike will be here for almost all the games. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And South Africa has it. Nice little slap pass. Nice tip. Oh, beautiful save. But now we're going to get a penalty on South Africa. Oh. You cannot touch the goalie. The whistle went. I'm going to say, I hate to say it, but uh, no, good call by the official. Yeah. If you don't, uh, if you don't call those right away, they're going to end up. Uh, it's going to end up causing stuff after the whistle. No, I agree. I mean, um, I saw where Cameron Barrow was coming from. Um, you know, sometimes the goalies try and touch over yeah. and the actual puck's lying down. He probably saw the puck, try to go for it, but rules are rules. Yeah, that's right. So we got South Africa, Cram and Burrell, uh, two minutes for slashing. Uh, so we're 12 minutes into the third, and here we go. South Africa breaking out and broken up nicely by uh, New Zealand defense. Andre Marais is having a good game. He, yeah, he is. As New Zealand's trying to squeeze it on the side and still has possession of the puck. Puts it over to the corner on this four on four right now. It's four on four, but it's looking like it's five on four. It is. New Zealand is uh, moving the puck quite nicely on a, on, uh, a four on four game. Uh, 44, 40 seconds left in New Zealand's penalty and a minute 20 left in uh, South Africa's. As New Zealand dumps the puck into the zone. Okay, Andre Murray with the puck. Calm it down. And uh, give away at the blue line. Winds up. Beautiful shot. And then gets rid of the rebound. Back to the point. High shot. Oh, oh what beautiful a save. save. He is definitely on his game today. And puck, puck. South Africa's got the puck just at the blue line. A uh, couple players get tangled up near uh, the goalie of New Zealand. Oh, this game's getting exciting. This game is definitely getting New Zealand. We're gonna get a penalty on South Africa. So we're gonna go to a, it's gonna be a five on three now for 37 seconds. You gotta be careful about these hits. Um, they can't afford this. Um, it's gonna be a penalty to number 24. Yeah, Samaya. Uthman Samaya. Um, it's gonna get two minutes for uh, boarding. Um, so we got a five on three for New Zealand. Um, 10.44 left in the second period. This place is packed and loud. Um, just an amazing, uh, amazing vibe in this rink. So five on three for New Zealand. Let's see if South Africa can hold them off here. As New Zealand gets possession from the puck, does a quick shot and pushed off behind the net by Bach. I think uh, Ashley Bok can keep him out. He just needs to not be screened. Quick shot, nice, uh, nice play, and they're easy, and they're able to clear it down the length of the ice, so they can get a couple changes here. Good job. And they get out quick as New Zealand's got three players down low, and here goes New Zealand again. Pass up as they're deep into the South Africa zone, setting up against the far boards. Back to the D. Over to the other D, one's out, so we're down to a five on four for another minute 20. And Barrel's able to steal the puck, and we're gonna go on a two on one. Turns into a two on two. And we're gonna have a penalty for New Zealand on a hold. It's gonna be number 16 for New Zealand. Um, great job on Barrel for drawing out that penalty and not, not quitting and giving up and causing the hold. Well, he actually lost his footing there with that puck, but uh, it seemed to get it back. He got, I think he got it back quite quickly, the boot. Uh, yeah. So number 16 for New Zealand, Paris Hayde gets two minutes for holding. Yeah, they got a good one there. So we're back on with four on four. 9.52 left in the second. Minute nine left on South Africa penalty. And obviously just two minutes on uh, 
on New Zealand's first penalty or penalty right now. And New Zealand, or sorry, South Africa able to keep it in. Tries to take a shot and it just bounces up. Uh, I got another one from uh, Francois saying, "Stop jinxing the players, poor, uh, poor Maria." Uh, as soon as you said, as soon as you said, "Well done," he passed to New Zealand. Uh, sorry about that, Francois. I'll try and watch what I say. Francois is thinking about exactly the same thing. <laughs> as New Zealand's coming in, just instantly daddling, and beautiful save by Bach. Good job, South Africa. Uh, this is just insane hockey, folks. Um, tell all your friends, tell everybody to log on and start watching this game because this is by far the best game I've seen in a long time. Absolutely. Everyone's um, ste stepping up to the plate. New Zealand's also playing well. It's a 0-0 game, 9 minute 20 into the second. The energy, uh, energy in this building is just off the hook. Um, whoever makes the save, it's just screaming at the top of the lungs and uh it's just an insane uh insane energy and uh you gotta be here to experience it yeah so i would suggest coming down on sunday um get your tickets now or comp your ticket or you can get them at the door um 60 60 rand for uh the night games 30 rand for day games yeah i mean this is uh, uh china versus uh, south africa sunday night yeah. Uh, it'll be a very good, hard That's, game. It's going to be another great game just like this one. Won't have the rivalry bit, but... Uh, and South Africa's on the power play for another 45 seconds. Let's see if they're able to get something going here on the power play. Oh, nice move by Samai. Oh, nice defensive move just to get the stick down and uh, take the shot away as New Zealand clears the puck the length of the ice. Yeah, so Thafka lines up behind their net. Nice little breakout. Goes to try and pass and uh, picked off by New Zealand. Good defensive move to put, keep him to the outside and push the puck off him. Christopher Reeves to Cameron Beryl. Up to Andre Murray in the zone. They're going to set up. And we're back to even strength. Oh, quick shot. Oh. And we're going to get another oh. penalty. Another one to New Zealand. Yeah. And we're in the zone as well. SA in the zone. Looks like it's going to be number 12 for New Zealand. It's going to get a slashing penalty. No. Oh. South Africa. Another power so play. So that's going to be Remy. Rami Sandoy is going to get two minutes for slashing. And I just can't get over this energy. This is people. Um, I got people in front of me with their cell phones videotaping this game, and that's how good it is. Yeah. Um, you get live feed, yet you are still, they're still videotaping. Got a few more tweets here. Uh, Jake Oliver. Um, game is heating up, entertaining to say the least. Yeah, no doubt about that. Um, phenomenal game. Charlene says, best game so far. The goalies are awesome. Um, I have to agree 100% with that one. And Dylan Bear saying, Team South Africa are playing like absolute biscuits. Yo, good job. And we might have a penalty here on South Africa now. Yeah, slash. Maybe I'll let you comment on that one. Uh, from Dylan. What's that? Yeah, the biscuits. Yeah. Yeah, no. So um, it's, it's a bit of slang word for South Africa. You biscuit means you legend. Oh, yeah. See, in Canada, we have, uh, we have a term. If you're playing like a biscuit, that means get off the ice because uh, uh, you're just getting eaten. Oh, no, no, no. So, yeah, other way around, John yeah, SA. Um, yeah. Biscuit is legend. And, and uh, number 19 for South Africa. Uh, number 19 for South yeah, Africa. Yeah, that's George Leon. George Leon is, uh, gets two minutes for slashing. Again, the goalie has the puck. He can't touch him. So we're back to four on four. Opens the ice up quite a bit. 
And let's see if South Africa can do something. Shot from the side and easily put aside by, uh, by Perry. Wrap and he comes back out. Oh! And nice save. Good job by Cameron Beryl. At least they work in his goalie. Oh, uh, and I'm agreeing with Charlene. This is the best game. Like, I shouldn't say this because um, every every game has been awesome. Yeah. But this is this game has more energy than anything, and I think it. A lot of it has to do with the way the teams are playing, but I think a lot of it has to do is these are the rivals. Yeah. That's um, it. they got something to prove, and it's like this every time. I've seen rugby, where I've watched. Uh, the Springboks play the All Blacks. Oh, it's the best in the world. And uh, I've seen all of that. I've seen. I watched cricket where it's South Africa against New Zealand, and you get in there, and it's it's just it hypes everybody up and gets everybody going more. Shot from the point, and Perry just knocks it out of play with the stick. Um, Richard Perry's having a good game as well. Oh, they're, everyone's having it. Yeah, everyone's playing a great game. Um, don't really have anything bad, can't have anything bad to say about this game. No, uh, all good. So far, we got six minutes, seven seconds left in the second period. Uh, no score. Uh, 33 seconds left on New Zealand penalty, a minute seven left on South Africa. So New Zealand will have a power play um, for about 20 seconds or so. Uh, just after New Zealand's penalty the ends, and great quick up pass. And here he goes, shoots, scores! What an individual effort there. Beautiful pass up and great patience on that goal. Uh, Jake Olafi, remember his comment earlier when we were talking about, as we comment about someone having a good game, then yeah. something bad goes on. I just said about Perry, yeah. the goalie, and then look at that. Well, maybe we should start be saying that uh, more often. <laughs> what a goal. Um, Great goal from absolute, Samai. Absolute phenomenal goal from Samai. Um, we'll get you the actual goal and assist. Um, I can tell you now, it went from Cameron Beryl to Samai. Well, there you go. Um, <laughs> so for me, that would be uh, number 24 from 18 would be my guess on that play. Yeah. We'll just see if we're right here, but that's what I'm going to say. I agree with you, and that's what we're going to say. So right now, 5.53 left in the second, one nothing lead for South Africa, and this rank just erupted um, with that goal. I think it could be Mahmoud to Beryl to Samai. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, Mahmoud, Dean Mahmoud, number five, also gets an assist on the play. Yeah, I thought so. He gave it across to Beryl. Yeah. And 20 se uh, South Africa's on a uh, penalty kill here for about 20 seconds as they just dump the puck down the ice, and they're going to go for a quick change. They're going to get the change. And New Zealand right across, just across the blue line as we're back to even strength. Quick pass out. Oh, oh. just can't make it. No icing because the goalie comes out of his crease and then did not play the puck. If the goalie leaves the crease, you do not, and uh, he chooses not to play it, you can wave the icing off. A uh, big hit by New Zealand uh, on South Africa as you just got rid of the puck. As New Zealand has the puck, goes to pass in front, oh, and Bach, save. Bach was able to get his stick on it and knock it out of harm's way. As New Zealand has the puck, back to the point. Easy shot and uh, nice defensive play. Uh, no penalty on the play as New Zealand player dived to play the puck and uh, just tripped up the South Africa player. Quick pass over and nice save. As the all as uh, as the all blacks as the ice blacks are uh, coming on a little strong here near the end of the second period, and I'm fighting for the puck along the boards. Yeah, I think they want to get one in just before the end of the second. Shot from the point and just flubs the shot. Comes 
Um, slowly goes towards the net and Box able to uh, get rid of it as the Ice Blacks still have control of the puck. Shot from the high shot and uh, just knocked over the net. The number 18 is alone in the slot. I noticed that as well. A big hit by uh, South Africa trying to do something. Uh, Reeves, oh, oh got to be careful and no penalty called on that play. It's South Africa not able to get it out at this point. And it's, it's all ice blocks right now. So they're really trying to get it's the out. puck. It's out. But they, South Africa's got it out. And it's going to be offside on the ice blocks. It's number five for New Zealand was caught still in the zone. Saved by the bell again. Insane. That's South all I got to say. South Africa needed a change there. <clears throat> and there were two or three guys going down on one. It was a bit of a save by the bell. Got a couple of... Uh, Got a couple of other ones here from another one from Francois saying RSA like a boss goal. Well, you got that right because that uh, that was perfect. And then from uh, Jaco Oliver Oliveira says, What a beauty! Uh, Deboka, sorry, Mr. Canada, you won't understand that one. <laughs> um, good for luckily, I have uh, someone that right sitting right next to me that's gonna explain that one to me. Yeah, the book is uh, what we oh, know. just one second. Sorry to interrupt, but sure. that was a beautiful save by a shot from the point. Low shot, and the uh, and box just able to uh, cover that up just to get a whistle. Having a great game. So, what's the Boca? The Boca, that's our rugby side. So, like the All Blacks are known, that's what the Boca is. We used to have a springbok. Yeah. So that's boka is in Afrikaans. Oh, okay. Springbok, the boka. Okay, I get it. Yeah. See, that's a good thing about having a South African commentate next to me. Um, he can explain all this stuff to me. Yeah. <laughs> so keep him coming, and uh, oh. and uh, we'll be able to uh, read him out as fast as you can send him. Well, maybe not as fast, but as uh, oh, nice play by Bach just to jump on that loose puck. A bit of tension there at the goal. Yeah. So two minutes, 24 seconds left in the second period. And uh, one nothing here for South Africa. And as I said before, what a phenomenal game. Having the game of their life. Um, if you ever wanted South Africa to pull it out and play um, the best game they can, well, you got it right here. And this rink is packed watching it. Wouldn't it be nice if they can... Take this game. Take China. I I would love to see that. Uh, I'm impartial myself. Um, but I would definitely love to see that. And we're going to have another penalty on New Zealand. It's going to be a hooking penalty. Oh, nice block from New Zealand. As uh, Bach is off the ice for the extra attacker. No icing on the play. And wouldn't it be nice if... New Ze if uh, South Africa can keep New Zealand from touching the puck for the last two minutes or at least score. Um, but that's not going to happen. I really got to stop saying things like that. <laughs> but we are getting another penalty on New Zealand. It's going to be the number nine, Burton Haynes. I played against Haynes. Good player. Solid. It's going to be two minutes for hooking. Um... Since I got this time, I just want to thank, uh, once again, thank the officials for doing a superb game and uh, a superb tournament. All the officials from all over the world that are doing this. Um, you guys are doing a phenomenal job and keep it up. Um, I'm proud to call myself an official. I wish I was on the ice, but unfortunately I'm not certified yet. Um, so maybe next year I'll be able to, you'll see me out there. If not, then I'll be commentating if it's in uh, Cape Town again. <laughs> Maybe it'll be officialing against me if I make it. Uh, well, that's what I'm hoping for. But you hit me with the puck, and I'm kicking you out of the game. <laughs> <laughs> and South Africa's on the power play with them just over a minute left in the second period. And the Ice Blacks ring it around to the other side, kept in by Dean Muckman. And back to the D. Winds up, nice slap shot, goes off the skates and into the corner. And New Zealand's able to clear it out. So we're down to about 45 seconds left in the second. A uh, minute left on uh, New Zealand's penalty. 
And New Zealand moving up through the neutral zone. Nice goal! Power play goal! South Africa scores! Beautiful passing play to get to the zone. Beautiful passing play to finish it off. And South Africa's got a two-goal two lead with 34 seconds left in the second period. This is good. Good job. And that is uh, Samai again. Um, Samai picked in the oh, picked his spot, drew the goalie, made him play, made him wait, and put it in. And Andre Marais has definitely got an assist there. And I uh, just want to see the third or the second assist. The third point scorer. And uh, I, got, I quickly got uh, another tweet here saying, what is with all the penalties? Where is this official from? Um, just so you know, the official's actually from Spain. Um, the reason he's calling the penalties is because the stick work, you have to call the stick work. If there's a hook or not, you have to call it. Um, if, uh, if, uh, it's just the way it is. It's, there's, no, there's never going to be any hometown officials from South Africa refing these games. Yeah. Um, so you can't put it on that. So just to add to that, International Ice Hockey Federation rules are a lot stricter and harder. Um, they, they, they look for everything, um, yeah, very strict. Um, and uh, just give me one second, and I got the goal here for you. Uh, second goal by South Africa, scored by number 24, Uthman Samai, assisted by number two, Wesley Kroetz, and number 12, Andre Marais. And that is a power play goal for South Africa. As here goes New Zealand on two on one, tries the high pass and doesn't make it. We're down to 20 seconds left in the second period. And I do got a couple more tweets here um, from that. Uh, Francois says, suck it Kiwis. Um, I shouldn't have said that, so I should have read it before I said it and I do apologize. Probably a South African guy. Um, yeah, he's definitely, I'm pretty sure he's from South Africa. So I'm going to apologize to uh, to all the New Zealand fans for me saying. Like just another game. Um, you know, they, they try and tape their sticks up differently. They try and change what they're doing when they when they get dressed up, you know, pads and everything like that. Um, yeah, just don't don't change too much. It's just another hockey game. Yeah, and here's, uh, here comes South Africa uh, from behind the net. And New Zealand's able to get the puck out and uh, carry it down through the neutral zone. Well, that's just it. It's just hockey. Um, yeah, you can be playing for a gold medal, but it's just another hockey game. If you lose, you lose, and if you win, you win. Yeah. Um, it's always nice to win, but sometimes it's just it's not in the cards. Yeah. Um, and if you take it too hard on yourself, it's you just gonna it's gonna get into your head, and then you're not gonna be able to do anything. So you just got to relax and go out and play your game and uh, good and, save. And see what happens. And that's uh, to me, that's what South Africa is doing here. They're not worried about winning or losing. They're just worried about playing their game. That's it. And it's working out for them. As, well, obviously, they got a 2 nothing lead uh, at the 18-minute mark of the fir uh, third period. And here goes New Zealand in on a one-on-two. Shot high and uh, able to get the rebound out by the blue line. Yeah, South Africa here. South Africa goes with a two-on-one. Shot, nice save by the goalie. Tried to go play it, but referee blew the whistle down. And we're going to have a face-off in the New Zealand zone. Yeah, good job. Oh, and that's the perfect... Uh, New Zealand defense played that two-on-one perfectly. And uh, like I played defense for the first 15 years I played hockey and then moved up to wing because I'm, I'm a little small guy and uh, I was always taught you play a two on one the defenseman takes the guy without the puck the goalie goes one on one the guy with the puck that's it um, what I've seen with a lot of two on ones this tournament is the defense tries to take the guy with the puck and he ends up passing it to the guy without the puck and then they score yeah um, so well played by New Zealand defense um, perfectly executed, and uh, goalie made a nice save. And another nice save by Bach.
as New Zealand or South Africa just puts it back in their corner and uh, they're able to get possession behind the net. Hard off the boards and just to the center line. And here goes New Zealand back into the zone. Shot from a hard angle and nice, uh, nice save by Book. And he's able to cover it up and get a whistle. No, no. 17 minutes left in the third period. And uh, they're playing the same, uh, same hockey they've been playing the first two periods. You see, so this is um, another thing to point out. Um, when you're down and you're in the third period and you have to chase, you, you know, you're almost panicky, panicky, panicky. You know, is there going to be another goal? Is there going to be a what, what? You know, South Africa's got no pressure now. They're up 2-0. Yeah. They're playing their game. They're applying the pressure, keeping the D very safe. Um, they've got nothing to worry about. Where you can see a little bit of panic in New Zealand. They're like, they want to get that goal. They want to get yeah. that goal. Yeah, they just want to put the puck on the net no matter what angle. They're just shooting and hoping that uh, one will squeeze through. That's it. Um, and South Africa's nice, calm, and just playing their hockey and keeping New Zealand to the outside. And that's the most important thing is you got to keep them to the outside. Yeah. They get inside, they get better chances. And it seems that uh, South Africa's defense is right on it. And here goes South Africa on a break. A nice save by the New Zealand uh, from Perry for the New Zealand goalie. Um, he, he played that perfectly. Just took away the angle, made himself look big. Um, nowhere to put that puck. Got a couple, a uh, couple other tweets here. From one, another one from uh, Francois. Shout out to Craig and Jackie, letting me know via WhatsApp. I should not get the announcers into trouble. <laughs> oh, thanks for the apology, Francois. Um, uh, no worries. I'm not too worried about it. And. Uh, so Craig and Jackie, I'll uh, give you a shout out from Francois here on the um, live feed for the 2015 Ice Hockey World Championships here in Cape Town, South Africa. Vision do Group B. And got another one from Yako Alafia. I think that's how you said to pronounce it. Alafia. Yeah, I can't do that. Roll that tongue. <laughs> I can't do that, so I'll just say Alafia. Um, super proud and happy to see my friend uh, at Oryx 17 playing. Um, Warwick the Warrior um, is the hashtag. No, oh, so again, thank you everyone for uh, sending us the tweets. Uh, it's awesome that you guys are sending them, and uh, it just makes it, it makes it so much more entertaining here being able to read what you guys think uh, watching the live feed. Um, so thank you again for that. Uh, New Zealand has the puck and uh, just trying to get it deep into New Zealand's zone. Bounces it off the knee pads of the South Africa player. And uh, now carries it in deep. Goes to the outside. Shot. Nice blocker saved by Balk. Not able to get it out. And uh, quick reflexes and just able to pounce on that. And uh, hold the puck. Get some line, new line out there and uh, get a whistle. That's it. Fresh legs. And that's how you can tell a relaxed goalie because he doesn't panic when the puck's right there. He just sees the puck, jumps on it, doesn't push it out with his glove. He just jumps on it, covers it, gets the whistle. Forces the faceoff, yeah. And New Zealand wins the faceoff. Hard shot, nice quick save. Those uh, long legs of Bok are moving quite they're, quickly tonight. It, they're <laughs> definitely, uh, yeah, definitely makes it interesting. As here goes South Africa. Kicks it into New Zealand's own. Oh, shot from uh, South Africa blocked by New Zealand defense. And out into the slot. And New Zealand able to pick it up. And New Zealand gets it back at their blue line. Pushes it forward. Crosses over South Africa's end. Goes deep and... Uh, Nice defensive play by Mahmoud. Yeah, and Ashworth going into the corner. And kept in by Freer for uh, the ice blocks. Ashworth with the puck again. They're going to get a change. Mahmoud with the puck. And just goes behind his net. 
Yeah, and you can see the urgency in uh, New Zealand as uh, New Zealand has a chance here. A beautiful, beautiful save by uh, by Bach, but we're gonna get a penalty, and it's gonna be uh, looks like it's gonna actually be on South Africa. Ah, uh, it is. Um, number twelve for South Africa, uh, Andre Marais. It's going to get two minutes for slashing. I think it was a bit of a, um, a panic there. Uh, Gary Bock made the first save, and Andre Marie came out and just wanted to slash down on the New Zealander that was going to poke him. Yeah. Well, I wasn't sure if it was there or if it was the slash that he gave the player for New Zealand as he was skating in all alone, trying to just kind of interrupt his, uh, his play there. Yeah, but we just don't need this in this... Uh no, so New Zealand uh, on the power play. Oh, beautiful save by Bach as a tip in almost goes in. He just gets his blocker on at the last second. Another nice shot, and he just pushes the puck out into the corner. Now, Bach is seeing everything, and he is playing a phenomenal game. Um, shot from the point, high shot, just goes wide and, up, wide and high. As wide and high shots aren't going to work on a power play. Nope. New Zealand setting up the play against the near boards here. Passes back to the D. D over to the other D that's pinching, and he's looking for a guy streaking in. And shot through the slot, and nothing happening from that. And as they set up again. Low shot, and saved by Buck. And you can see New Zealand getting frustrated. We are at the 12 minute 50. 12 minute 53 second mark of the third period. Got a minute left on the power play for New Zealand and South Africa's up 2-0 and you can see the frustration setting in on New Zealand on this power play. Their players cannot believe some of the saves that, uh, that Buck is making. Ashley Buck is playing phenomenal. He probably had about four or five shots just on that one shift. And uh, we got a friend, another uh, Another tweet from Francois saying, Bach for president, amazing save. <laughs> um, I'll second that thought. As New Zealand goes to make a nice stretch pass. And they take it into the zone, looking to set something up. You got one, two, almost three New Zealand players in, uh, in front of the net. And the other two near the outside. Definitely got two in front of the net. Shot on the ice, guy picks up the rebound, New Zealand scores! That's a power play goal for New Zealand as they cut the series down, or the goal, sorry, cut the lead down two to one. Um, nothing you can do with that. Bach made the initial save. Um, New Zealand was able to get the rebound, just kind of put it up, put it up above Bach. I think we're jinxing it again, Jay. Yeah, what can I do? <laughs> Got a tweet here from a Hannah Whiffen. Let's go Ice Blacks. Fight hard. You can do it. Patience um, for the Ice Blacks. And as soon as we get the goal for the Ice Blacks, we'll, uh, we'll send it right to you. So the goals by New Zealand, first goal scored by number eight, Connor Harrison, assisted by number 16, Paris Haid. Uh, and we're at the 11, uh, 1140 mark of the third period, 2-1 for South Africa, and uh, New Zealand pressuring once again. Um, New Zealand all over uh, South Africa right now. Shot from the point, doesn't get through. New Zealand picks the puck up. Guys, it's five on five. And here goes South Africa. They're able to pick it up, and they're skating hard down the ice on a three on two. Nice defensive move to break up that pass. Goes around. Nice shot, and nice save by the New Zealand goalie. Yeah, they were just getting outworked there. Um, that was all New Zealand straight from the faceoff. Yeah. And you can't slow down now. You have to just keep going. 
Got a few more. Uh, Francois saying number two. Uh, I don't know what he means by that. And uh, Dylan Bear says, what a stellar performance by both teams. Shout out to all my Wildcat teammates. Bach for president. As New Zealand makes a nice save again. Okay, let's see what South Africa's got up their sleeve. Face off to the left of Perry, and uh, New Zealand wins that. And New Zealand coming out hard. Goes around, uh, goes around one guy, and South Africa leaves it in the center of the, center of the, their zone there. Just everyone's kind of skating past. Um, no icing on the play, as South Africa dumps the puck down the length of the ice. As New Zealand picks it back up and starts carrying it out. Gets to center ice. And New Zealand just pa just shoots it into the co uh, corner of New Zealand's zone. Uh, puck hits the referee's skate. And here goes New Zealand, or sorry, South Africa on a two-on-two. -two. Skating hard to the outside, shoots. And nice save by the goalie again. Bottom left corner was wide open. Unfortunately, if you're not a sniper and you're on the ice, you might not see that. It's easier for us to see it than them. Yeah, true. But we all know how much of a sniper you are, so. <laughs> Seeing the gaps from you. Yeah. Uh, Hannah Whiffen says, Harrison from Hayde. Uh, the Dundon Thunder connection right there, kicking it off. Go, boys. Yeah, Henderson, Haynes played against both of them. Very good players. No icing on the play is... Uh, Balk is forced to come out and whistle as the puck ends up on the back of the net. I think Balk was uh, hoping for an icing there. That's why he didn't go out to play it. And then uh, he almost got caught as uh, he had a New Zealand player right there uh, just looking for the puck. But we're going to have the faceoff outside. Uh we're at the 10 minute mark of the third period, 2-1 for South Africa for those just joining us. And uh, if you're just joining us, you missed one heck of a game so far. So hopefully you'll stick with us and uh, see what can happen. And South Africa turns the puck over back to New, New Zealand defense. Shot, off, shot from the point and New Zealand able to pick it up again. And South Africa just can't get it out. They uh, skated right away from that puck as New Zealand's able to hold it again. Shot off the point, and here goes South Africa. They got a break. Samaj's got a little bit of a breakaway. Comes in, and goalie makes a nice save. That would have been his hat trick. Uh, that, he, that kid's got some wheels, there's no doubt, but hard for him to make any, uh, any moves. Uh, he had one New Zealand guy on either side of him, kind of forcing them. Um, Excellent try, um, phenomenal effort, and beautiful save by the goalie. Able to cut off that angle. Uh, shot, oh, just high for South Africa as they get possession from the faceoff. And here goes New Zealand down the ice hard. Uh, nice defensive play with the stick. Passes back to him, but there's a New Zealand defense right there, so he's just going to pick it up. New Zealand puts it just over the blue line and South Africa back to the red line. Oh, buddy. And New Zealand puts it all the way down into South Africa end. We'll give Mahmoud some time to think to David Watson. And as he does a line change, uh, New Zealand just dumps the puck in and gets a few guys themselves. Mahmoud back behind the net again. Not a lot of time as New Zealand actually goes behind the net and forces them out. And New Zealand just, or sorry, South Africa just dumps it into New Zealand's zone. No icing on the play. As Murray, uh, yeah, Murray uh, just pushes the puck up to the blue line. That's off. And a uh, good call by the linesman who gets an offside call. So we're down to 8 minutes, 13 seconds left in the third in a 2-1 game. Uh, thank you for all the fans that are joining us. I uh, hope you're enjoying the entertainment. 
enjoying the game and enjoying the commentary. Because uh, I, honestly, I know I am. No, oh, yeah, good game. I just think South Africa must, uh, you know, calm down a bit. They must keep their discipline. If we get one more penalty, I think it can change the whole game. I agree with you 100%. Um, they got a good chance here. They just have to keep their head level-headed and uh, and play good defense. Oh, nice pass by New Zealand to get out to the neutral zone. Just crosses over and uh, pass intercepted by New South Africa and then back to New Zealand. And New Zealand goes to dump the puck in, but it goes out of play. So we'll do a quick uh, thanks to all the sponsors. Uh, Blauberg Meats, Stephen Johnson Cars, CNS, Working SA, AFGRI, McDonald's, GoPro, um, Hyperast. Uh, just want to thank all of you guys because without you guys, this wouldn't, uh, wouldn't happen. And thank you to, for all the fans as well because uh, if it wasn't for you, it wouldn't be, happen either. So, Oh, nice, nice save by Bach on a uh, close shot by New Zealand as uh, they're gaining possession in South Africa's zone. Back to the D. From D to D pass, and it just hops over a stick. Able to pick it up from the slot again, and nice save by Bach. As you can hear the fans clapping on the save, and you hear some of them calling for a slashing penalty on the goalie. Um, the referees can uh, let this one play. Um, in a game like this, you don't want to call a penalty like that unless you absolutely have to. Uh, Yako Alafir says New Zealand doing all the playing in the third. Um, yeah, actually, I'm not going to disagree with you. It's been all New Zealand this period. Absolutely. Um, nice block by South Africa. They've had their moments, but on a play like that, you got to get the puck out. And it goes just back to the point. Another shot from the point. Backhand towards the net, and the goalie's going to... Uh, or the ref's going to blow the whistle as the net comes off. Um, but I agree with you, Yako. It's, uh, it's all New Zealand. It's all, it's all New Zealand. And uh, South Africa's got to calm down. If I was South Africa, I would almost take my time out now just to get a little bit, a bit of a break. Um, calm the play down a little bit. They did get a line change. There's 6 minutes, 50 seconds left in a 2-1 game. Um, win by New Zealand. Face-offs. Um, and yeah, so that was having a tough time even getting the puck on their sticks right now. New Zealand's doing everything they can. Nice hit along the boards. And here goes South Africa. They get to the red line and just dumps it in and goes for, uh, goes for a line change. Yeah, it's almost like uh, South Africa has slowed down just a little bit in this third period um, since uh, New Zealand scored that goal. Yeah. Um, and they've done this the, pretty much the whole tournament. And it's going to be offside. Uh, don't worry. He got the call. I know. I was just checking. I don't know I, why. I, I just see my partner on every uh, every offside. If it's uh, the whistle is a little bit delayed, I see him put his hand up going <laughs> for the call. <laughs> um, I'm just I'm just trying to understand why someone would skate in over the blue when he knows his players on the other side. Because a lot of players in this uh, tournament so far are skating with their head down. Yeah. <laughs> Hard shot. Oh. Nice save by the goal. He just kicks it wide. And again, uh, I don't know what it is, but South Africa just see, can't seem to handle the puck all that well this third period. Just over five minutes left in the third. South Africa wraps it around the boards. New Zealand's able to get possession. And then it goes out to the center ice. And South Africa's got possession of the puck back around their blue line and just softly dumps it into the New Zealand zone. As a couple of South Africa players go to get a change, New Zealand's looking to move it up the ice. 
And uh, Mahmoud uh, knocks it away from the New Zealand player just to the red line. And here goes New Zealand again. Goes for the pass in front. Turn, fire, nice save by Bach. And the one thing I do like about this style of hockey is it is it's back and forth hockey. On when South Africa does get possession of the puck, they're taking it right down to New Zealand and uh, getting some good scoring opportunities. Yeah. And here goes New Zealand again, hard to the outside. Nice save by Bach. And here goes South Africa with the puck. And dump and chase. As New Zealand moves up into the neutral zone, crosses over the blue line, looks to set something up to the far side. Fake shot on the ice, nice save by Bakken, nice defensive move by Marat who just uh, just gets the puck to the blue line. And it's going to be an offside call on New Zealand as they go to dump the puck in and it hits one of the fallen players. So, four minutes, six seconds left in the third. 2-1 for... South Africa, another tweet here from Francois. Looks like our boys are struggling with fitness. Go Team RSA. Could be. I mean, they're still pumping and grinding when they, they're going in for the four check and they're, they're going in for the dump and chase. Um, I don't know. I just think uh, they just don't have that fight in them now, man. Well, it looks like they're tired, to be honest. It does look like they're like New Zealand has more energy than they do. Um, it's almost been like that the whole tournament where, as I said before, um, uh, they just kind of quit. But here's South Africa going. Oh, just misses the net. I uh, think the goalie might have got a little bit of a glove on, or blocker on that. But uh, it was a definitely a nice save. Uh, in South Africa skates, and they just put it around uh, New Zealand net. Three minutes left in the third period. Nice pass up by New Zealand as Harrison skates in. Quick pass and just misses the net. And off the ref skates again, back out front. And in my defense as an official, the referee's in the same spot the whole game. Um, if you're right there and you see the referee and you shoot it out of skates, you can't get mad at him. <laughs> And New Zealand's got the puck just circling around in their zone. As they go to make a change, they kind of uh, get just across New Ze or South Africa's zone. Two minutes, 30 seconds left in the third period. 2-1 for South Africa. As New Zealand's able to clean the zone again, cross over the slot, takes a shot, and just misses the net. Yeah, as New Ze and South Africa tries to dump it out high off the glass, caught by New Zealand. And the ref's just not going to call that. He's going to let them play. South Africa goalie, nice stop by the... Or New Zealand goalie comes out to play the puck. And uh, almost picked off by the South African player. As they're holding the puck along the boards right in front of New Zealand bench. We're just under the two-minute mark of the third period. As New Zealand moves up. Big hit against the boards. Uh, Clever Mar hit. Clever hit. Murray against the faller. And, uh, the faller, as I called him. And uh, it was definitely a great hit. And you got to be careful if you're South Africa right now because the last thing you want to do is take a penalty at this point in the game. Okay, you got a three on two. And here we go. Got a two on two going wide. Nice move and good save on the goalie. Uh, just over a minute left, and the goalie's looking at the bench, wondering when he's going to come out. And here goes South Africa, and they got an open net. She scores! And, and he's got his hat trick. And he's got his hat trick, folks. Samaya's got his hat trick. New Zealand pulls the goalie and gives the puck up at the blue line. South Africa. South Africa carries the puck down. Samaya has the open net. Shoots, and we got a 3-1 game for South Africa over New Zealand. With one minute and seven seconds to go. Thank you very much. 
My voice hurts, I'll tell you that much. That is absolutely brilliant. That is insane. And soon as we, we know who scored the goal. We know the goal scored by number 24. As soon as I find out who the assists are from, I will tell you right now. We got a 30-second time timeout called by New Zealand. And all I got to say is, wow. Just wow. I know I might be yelling, folks, but the energy of this crowd, the energy of this game, um, it's just got me so amped right now. I feel like I'm on the ice playing. <laughs> um, so, South Africa's third goal. Scored by number 24, Uthman Samai. Assisted by number 23. Where's 23? Calum Bremer. Bremer. And assisted by number 13, Kai Nebe. And you guys might not see this, but we have a fan on the other side of the other side of the rink running along running along the railing from side to side, getting this crowd amped up, telling them all to stand up, do the wave. And uh, just had a fan right next to us just start screaming, let's go. SA, let's go. And uh, so we're just under a minute in the third period. 3-1 for, uh, for SA. New Zealand pressuring in, uh, in SA's they zone. They don't need a penalty now. They don't need a penalty. And New Zealand uh, can't keep the puck in. And I know we got another couple tweets here. Francois says, it's amazing how well Samai plays when he is playing like it's his last game. Well done. Absolutely. Yako Alafir says, oh, yes, great job, guys. Great defense and quick counter. Absolutely. Um, and here goes the goalie again. And uh, so New Zealand pulls the goalie with 17.5 seconds left to get the extra attacker. Uh, so that goes up 3-1. to 17.5 seconds left. So we're going to have six, on, six skaters for New Zealand, five for South Africa. And that's just some that's just one fan in front of us and the whole rink is doing that. It is unbelievable. And Dean Mokmid uh, 13 seconds. Shoots the puck down. No icing. They wave the icing off and this is gonna be it. There's no goalie. We're down to five Four, seconds. Three, two, one. And South Africa's done it. South Africa has beat New Zealand three to one. Don't go anywhere, fans. We're going to be having the MVP players, and then we're going to be listening to the South African National Anthem as we raise the flag. That is absolutely insane. What a game. Honestly, best game I've seen South Africa play in ages. Oh, phenomenal game. i got another one from Yako. Uh, just wants to, uh, he says, I want to thank you guys for the commentary and the great interaction. Loving it. Loving it. See you Sunday. Sounds good, Yako. I'll be here all day. Um, so you definitely don't have to wait for the South Africa game. If you want to log on, um, I'm here from the first game to the last game. I'm commentating every game, and I'll be happy to tell people what you guys have to say. I want to thank everybody for joining us. As I said, don't go anywhere because we'll be uh, naming the players of the game, and then we'll be listening to the South Africa anthem. Um, we're going to turn it right up so everyone can hear because I have a feeling some fans will probably be singing along. Oh, yeah. Um, unfortunately, I don't know the Canadian national anthem, so honestly, I don't know the South African one either. I've had a bit of practice, but I'm not going to sing live. <laughs> don't worry. We're all thanking you for that.
And player of the game for New Zealand, number 21, Joshua Hay. Um, great game. He great game. He played a phenomenal game, both two-way offense and defense. Uh, he played a um, smashing tournament in Ireland when I played against him as well. Great player, solid. Uh, both ways, like you said, back and forward. Yeah. I just want to, I just want to say something, one kick thing. Um, I just noticed uh, our volume control was turned almost right off because we were yelling so loud that we were almost making the people deaf. And of course, the player of the game for South Africa, number 20, Ashley Buck. Um, I've never seen him play uh, before this tournament, but I must say that's probably the best game he's played in his career. I mean, that's how I know these Bok brothers. Um, he, you know, they, they normally step up to the plate. Um, Gary Bok, his brother, also plays. Uh, very good hockey players. Um, Ashley Bok played some hockey over, over in the States as well. Um, and, and this is the, the Ashley Bok that I know, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> and as you can see, the tallest one out there. <laughs> he's, he's just a beast of a man. Oh, it's, he's huge. Um, right now, we're going to uh, turn the volume right up so you guys can hear the national anthem as we play the South Africa national anthem. So don't go anywhere and listen to the anthem, and uh, we'll be right back after the anthem. Once again, I just want to thank everybody for joining us for this amazing game. Um, thank you for all your tweets. I do have one last tweet to read. Um, it's, it's from Yako again who says, I jinxed myself as I was typing. The streaming is much better today. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Um, yeah, I've, uh, I got it on my phone right now. So pretty much I'm constantly on it. So um, I don't think you really jinxed yourself. Uh, I said, you guys can send your tweets anytime. Um, tomorrow's an off day. Um, everyone gets, uh, no one's going to be here. Uh, the next games will be Sunday at 1 o'clock. Um, give me one second. I'll be able to tell you who's playing as I'm going to the games. Um, first game at 1 o'clock is going to be New Zealand versus Bulgaria. At 4.15, Israel versus Mexico, and at 8 o'clock, China versus South Africa. Um, I hope to, that all you guys will tune in again all day Sunday. Um, it is, I know it is Sunday, and uh, people do have a lot to do Sunday, but come on down and, uh, and watch all the hockey. Um, 
you'd be amazed at the talent these teams have. I mean, uh, you know, things can go either way, Jay. I mean, everyone, you know, everyone's looking good. Uh, China's looking extremely good. China's looking like they're going to get gold, but you know.